Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your love reading. It's going to be looking at your person, what they're thinking, feeling towards the connection. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different though. I'm using um, some new decks that I got and a new spread that I hope you guys will enjoy. I'm also going to use my homemade deck here that I made with um, messages from your person, what they wish they could tell you if they could, or just messages about the connection in general. So I hope that you guys enjoy that. Um, this will be a general reading, so will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. Feel free to check out your other placements if they make, um, they may resonate more. All right, Sagittarius, let's get into it. Let's look at the current energies of the person you're thinking about. Spirit. What, what are the current energies for the person that Sagittarius is thinking about? Really? I'm so sorry, guys. My dog. What am I going to do with them? Spirit, what are the current energies for the person that Sagittarius is thinking about? Okay, we got one. What are the energies for the person that Sagittarius is thinking about? Time is fluid, so whatever situation I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. And the roles can be reversed, guys. Oh, okay. Well, I love this. First here is truth be told. Notice how there's little hearts around it and a little cage. Or no, not a cage, but like kind of window. Um, I feel like this truth is going to open up something. Either open someone's heart, open a door to a possibility. I have here um, co-create. Interesting. I'm going to have to look that one up. And then fork in the road. Love it. So someone definitely has a decision to make here with fork in the road. They have to decide where what they want to do. I feel like it's going to start with this truth. Let me look at this co-create. Trying to keep it PG here. All right, connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening you up, opening you up to new ideas you should you would never have come to on your own. You are looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. You are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art now, the very embodiment of beauty. Well, I wasn't expecting that, but look at this. You kept your heart open. Wasn't I just talking about opening up your heart here? <laughs> Interesting. So this is connections of the heart, a connection of the heart here, connecting with someone here. And there's going to be a decision, a path that'll open up here. Okay, so let's see what else we can get of these of these energies. This is the Ojo, Osho Sen Tarot deck. It's designed after the traditional tarot, but it's very different. So I use it as an oracle deck and you'll see what I mean in a second. If you haven't seen these cards before, tell me about truth be told for Sagittarius. Huge thank you to everyone who has commented, shared, subscribed, liked any of the videos. I appreciate it so much. I read all of your comments. Um, and I, I'm just really grateful for all of you who bring positivity to the channel. Thank you so much. Consider subscribing if you like my readings. Wow. Okay. So we got totality. This is the five of fire, which is five of wands. Doesn't look like any five of wands. We're probably used to, but this one I'm thinking about is trust, total trust. You see, there's like a trapeze artist kind of situation here. Someone's kind of swinging from one side to the other. Anything else? Oh my God, it's like the same image. Two of um, schizophrenia, two of swords or two of air. Very similar. Notice how they're, they're both hanging, suspended. I feel like someone's going to let go and trust when they open up their heart here. That's what I'm seeing. Tell me more about co-create. Whoa, I almost lost it. Abundance. So this is the king of pentacles here. Um, stability, abundance, 
it's um, grounded. This person is also very um, secure, confident. Tell me more about Fork in the Road. Okay, celebration. Three of Cups energy here. Could be a third party situation or a, un a reunion of some sort. Why celebration? This person could be thinking about either they're in a third party situation and they want to go down a different path or they want to reunite with someone, which again would be going down a different path. The source. I think this is um, Ace of Wands. Let me double check that. Hang on. Yeah, Ace of Wands. But I, I have a feeling that, that that message is not even close to the Ace of Wands. <laughs> because that's what I'm learning when I'm reading these. When we speak of being grounded or centered, it is the source we are talking about. When we, we when we begin a creative project, it is the source that we tune into. So go to the source if you want to plan or begin something new. So what I'm seeing here is this person, this is what I'm seeing. This person has had a new inspiration about what path they want to take. Um where they want to go. Um, I feel like this person could be in a third party, doesn't have to be, but it's either this person has really realized or had some sort of realization recently that they need to go down a different path, whatever that means for them. So this is the wild, what is it? The wild unknown animal spirit oracle deck. I'm, I really love this deck, but I'm still learning it. And I'm going to use this deck to figure out how this person views you, Sagittarius. How does this person view you or the connection, their feelings towards this connection or towards you? Spirit, how does this person view Sagittarius or view this connection? How do they feel about Sagittarius or this connection? Remember to flip the roles, guys. They can be vice versa. Just take it as it resonates. Earthworm, wow. So this is all about being new. Starting something new. Still needing to learn. I feel like this person opening up, it's like a new thing for them. Like they're not used to that maybe. They're a little unsure. Fish, I just had this for, who was it? Aries. Someone have fish. Fish is about um, not having a sense of direction. Just moving, but not knowing where you're going. Huh. So this is under co-create and abundance. I feel like this person... I'm seeing these two together, the fish and the fork in the road. This person probably didn't know what path they wanted to go down. They've just now realized this. They've been moving and moving, possibly in the wrong direction this whole time. And now they're at a fork in the road and it's decision time. Do I want to keep going on this path or do I want to try something new? And I feel like this has to do with their relationships because I feel like this truth be told is about opening up emotionally. Shark, yeah, it makes sense. So I just had this for, I don't remember who it was, I'm sorry. But shark is all about um, what has been unsaid. It's causing tension, it needs to be addressed. There's a big shift that needs to be addressed. Um, so this makes sense. This person needs to address the fact that they have to make a decision here about possibly your connection. So, Let's look at the tarot and see what the tarot has to say about this connection. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius regarding love? What messages do you have for Sagittarius, please, regarding love? What does Sagittarius need to know, Spirit? 
What does Sagittarius need to know regarding love? What are the what are, I'm going to be looking at the mutual energies between you and this person, or just where this person is at right now, where where they could possibly be headed. What are the mutual energies between Sagittarius and this person? Spirit? What else do I need to know? Ha! Huh. Ace of Wands just came out. Okay. I have four. I want two more. Two, one or two more. Let's see. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. So let's start over here. Six of Swords. Yeah. Traveling. Someone's on a, on a journey. Someone's on a journey. They're leaving somewhere. They're going somewhere. Um, they're heading in a new direction. The Empress. Possibly because they want to go towards this Empress energy. Um, this is about, this is someone who knows their worth. Someone attractive. Someone you would invest in. Um, she's abundant as well. We have abundance down here. The Empress is secure. She also is symbolizes love. We have the high priestess. Someone here could be using their intuition to go after this new beginning. High priestess, ace of wands. There's a new passionate beginning here for sure. This person, I feel like I feel like it's consuming this person. Page of swords. Someone could be watching someone else. Someone could be sending DMs, messages, wanting to communicate. I feel like they they know with the shark that they need to communicate this new direction. And then we have the lovers. A powerful union here. Again, a decision between the head and the heart. Um, sign of Gemini. Again, with love. I'm also thinking there's three people here in this deck. Typically, there isn't. But in this deck, for the lovers, there there's three people. So this could be a third party situation. You know, we had celebration up there with three people, just putting it out there. Or it could be a Gemini that this person is dealing with. Let me just move these over so you guys can see. So let's clarify all these. Let's get some more. Oh, Queen of Pentacles under the deck. Tell me about the Six of Swords. This is someone leaving something that's no longer serving them and heading towards a new direction something more balanced and grounded which is what this king of pentacles is all about tell me about the okay <sighs> clarify by the eight of cups so yes someone's walking away from something here tell me more why the eight of cups because of the knight of pentacles because someone has to go and make an offer an offer of stability an offer that has taken a while but they're doing it. Tell me about the Empress. For a very small number of you, you're going to have a child. I'm sorry. I just, I was thinking about that with co-create. I didn't say anything, but then the Empress came up and I've, I've been battling, you know, internally, if I should say it. But for a very small number of you, you're going to find out that you're pregnant. Tell me about the Empress. Okay, let's move on. Tell me about the Empress. Two of Swords. Again, with a decision between the head and the heart. Okay, let's see. Why the Two of Swords? Why the Two of Swords? Someone is unsure. They haven't made a decision. Because of the Five of Wands. Maybe because when they go after this Empress, all hell's going to break loose. <laughs> With the five of wands maybe things have been said that are causing this person to hesitate there's drama or conflict or disagreements that are causing this person to hesitate this could be a mother or a wife figure as well with the empress tell me about the high priestess why is the high priestess here spirit Using your intuition, hidden secrets, peeking beneath the veil. 
the high priestess doesn't speak as well sometimes she keeps things to herself so someone could be keeping something to themselves here tell me more about the high oh okay all right let's see okay we got the eight of pentacles and the tower oh my god okay okay with the tower i feel like this tower is causing all of this drama to go to unfold all of this leaving of a situation moving on from something i feel like it's due to this tower tower can't talk with the eight of pentacles i'm thinking someone here invested in something for a long time that did not grow notice how in this particular deck nothing has grown yet it's just sitting there waiting to to bloom to harvest i feel like this person is looking at the empress energy and say and seeing that's where i can grow that's the path I need to take because that's where my investment will bear fruit. This tower moment, this unexpected shakeup for either this person or for you, Sagittarius, um, it has changed things. It has toppled a foundation that wasn't going anywhere anyway. I feel like someone intuitively knew that they were putting their effort where it wasn't going to go anywhere. And it took a tower moment for them to really like, almost like get off their butt and go after this Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius. Have I said Aries in this reading at any point? <sighs> I hope not. I really do hope not. Okay. I'm thinking about Aries right now. That's why I'm, I'm saying for some reason, I feel like some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Okay. And I saw this Ace of Wands and I thought Aries. Okay. Okay. Ace of Wands, Six of Cups, past life connection or an ex or someone from the past or just memories looking back. And Five of Swords. Someone's looking back about something that didn't work out for them. There was a loss or a defeat here. Words were probably exchanged here. This person wants a new beginning, possibly with someone from the past, possibly with someone they feel as a past life connection, or just a new passionate beginning where they can actually win. Because I feel like all they've done so far is lose. That's the energy I'm getting here. This person has not gotten anywhere with the fish, you know? And they're ready to begin anew with the earthworm here. But first, they have to take a big, hard look at themselves. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Someone could be seeking information. Whoa, yeah. Ace of Swords. Clarity, truth. The cutting out of what no longer serves you. Someone's been watching. Excuse me, seeking information here with the Ace of Swords. Seeking clarity, possibly because of that high priestess energy. Why the Ace of Swords for Sagittarius? Why the Ace of Swords? Okay. Page of Pentacles. Again, stability. Someone wants a new beginning that will actually lead to something long term someone's gotten clarity i feel and i think they want they want to deliver a message because pages are messengers so someone wants to communicate this new clarity that they've gotten with the ace of swords i keep getting this message this this theme of communication in all of these readings tell me about the lovers Wow, Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be you. Could be a Gemini as well. Tell me more about the lovers. Someone's very attracted to you. The, the chemistry is off the charts here. Um, someone wants to take action as well on this connection. Could be you. Could be this person. Again, flip it how it resonates. But whoever it is, they want to take action here. Yeah, Queen of Cups. There's love here. Possibly also two people. 
because there's the eight of swords someone's also mentally trapped probably in this situation they haven't been able to make a decision because they're so in their head about it because of fear over here with what's going to happen strength card under the deck yeah this person needs courage um strength to deal with whatever's coming so let's see what other messages we can get about this situation spirit what messages do you have for sagittarius what other messages do you have for sagittarius everybody love what else does sagittarius need to know about this connection or this situation Yeah, courage, what I just said. This person needs courage. Courage to speak up and really open their heart here. Courage to go down a different path. You know, if they are in a commitment right now, they need courage to leave this person and choose the right thing. Yep, they need courage to put an end to something with the death card there. Give me one more. This tower moment, I feel like, has shown them what what they need it's like it's opened their eyes that along with the intuition blame and denial i accept responsibility for my well-being i acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the insight of awareness interesting so this person knows that they're uh, being a coward excuse my french i think this person knows that they themselves have gotten themselves into this situation nobody else made them go down this path i feel like they they've realized that they were maybe in denial about that but again the tower has opened their eyes they accept responsibility for what happened they have no one to blame for but themselves and i feel like they know that now what would this person tell sagittarius if they had the chance spirit what would this person tell Sagittarius if they had the chance or any other messages regarding this connection any other messages regarding this connection with Sagittarius what would this person say if they had the chance let's see what this person would say Sagittarius if they had this the chance because clearly they need to communicate what would they say if they could it's been a long time since I've seen you Okay. There could be dis distance between you two. I'm deeply attracted to you. Yeah, there's attraction here. There's chemistry here between you two. I felt it with the Queen of Wands. Whoa. I screwed up. And are you ready for this? I'm ready to open up. Isn't that what we've been saying? I'm not going to take these because, I mean... There's distance between us, bottom of the deck. Behind that, my intuition is guiding me. Yeah, those are the ones that fell. All right, guys. So this person clearly is having an awakening and is ready to open up and admit that they screwed up. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for checking out this reading. I hope that it resonated with some of you. If it did, please leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much again for subscribing, liking, and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.